All right, welcome to Spatry's Cup of Linux today. This is a hot topic that's been really uh, getting to everybody, and we're talking about the Stop Online Piracy Act and the damage that this is going to do to the Internet. I have a number of my subscribers, fellow show hosts, and guests today, and we are going to discuss this and what we feel that SOPA is going to do. First, I feel like SOPA is going to harm our freedom of speech and the way that we express ourselves on the internet. Um, first, I would like to ask, uh, I would like to ask Kanto Quad, uh, what is your impression of SOPA? Oh, um, I, I think it's very dangerous to the, um, to internet uh, commerce and, and uh, just the ability of, of things to grow on the internet. I've heard some people state that this is going to really harm innovation because, you know, companies like the big software giant Microsoft, for instance, they claim to hold all of these software patents on, uh, on all these technologies. A lot of these arguably have been invented by Linux, and uh, they're trying to cash in on Linux, and they can just pretty much say, hey, these guys violate our or patent laws and that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and shut their website down. Does anybody have any thoughts on that? Well, um, they uh, they just have to accuse it. I don't think it's even going to be reviewed by any third parties. They just say, hey, they're infringing on our, our uh, IP. Shut them down. And they're going to be like, okay. I think it's just the fear of that is going to do enough. It doesn't. They don't even have to do it. Well, this is definitely going to put unwarranted control in the hands of Hollywood or any copyright holders that are out there. Yeah, it, it completely undermines free speech. For instance, I like to uh, write my own music and that sort of thing. Now, I'm wondering as the small guy if this would be of any benefit to me if I go on somebody's website and then I find out that my song's being used, I don't know that it's going to give me any control over anything that I have personally created myself. If anything, this is going to help the record companies or the media uh, distributors out there, but I don't see any benefit to the small guy out there. Well, I don't see how it benefits any more than current laws benefit anyone. Because if you make your own music, you can put a license under that music. And if someone else uses that music in a way that offends that license, you can have them take it down and you can prosecute them. So why we need this new set of laws is beyond me. We already have the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, which allows... Uh, these companies to ask these uh, web domains to remove the copyrighted material. However, when we're dealing with you know uh, web web domains that are outside the United States, for instance, how are they going to be able to stop them? Uh, I'd also like to add that I think under SOPA the websites can also be held responsible. Like if I uploaded uh, something that was copyright infringement on YouTube, YouTube could be held responsible for it under SOPA as well as me, I think. Not only that, but they can also cut off all the fun. So let's say you're like me, I'm a YouTube broadcaster and I'm monetizing videos, and granted, I'm not really making a fortune off of the advertising and whatnot, but they can actually cut off the money that you're making. Well, I think they're uh, doing the uh, uh, sort of a firewall. That's the plan to uh, block the website, but uh, there are ways around that. Oh, sure. They've already got plugins for Firefox that you can download, and actually, um, Firefox has been requested to remove those plugins and they have blatantly refused to do so because they haven't seen how this uh, 
and basically what it is, it's an IP redirect protocol. So if a web address is blacklisted, basically this plugin will just point you to the correct IP address. It was my understanding that as part of this legislation, uh, using a proxy would put you at risk um, for uh, an offense of the law. Well, according to the guys who made the plugin, it's not illegal, at least not at this time, to uh, use their plugin. Um, I think it's Mafia Fire is the one you get for Firefox, and it's not illegal for you to uh, download it and put it into Firefox and use it. No, uh, I, it was my it was my impression that SOPA would and and I could be wrong about this would make it uh, illegal to use proxies in the United States. Um, effectively, that's why I think Tor is one of the uh, big outspoken um, opponents of SOPA. <clears throat> However, conversely, um, also as stated on the Tor website. Uh, one of the biggest users of Tor is the FBI, so I'm not sure how that law uh, sits with that. Well, it is a well-known fact that a lot of proxies are used for malicious activities, such as hacking um, adult websites, for instance, where people are hiding behind anonymous proxies that the you know, and they and they tend to filter out all of the proxies that are government regulated and that sort of thing. So my so, well, like like I say though, the, the you know, Tor admits that their their biggest their biggest user is the FBI. Well the thing is this is going to hamper anonymous proxies because there are people that are using those proxies for legitimate reasons such as for private web browsing and that sort of thing we all know that there are a number of websites out there that really want to pry into your browsing habits and that sort of thing so that they can feed you the type of advertising that that they want to give you based on your surfing habits and uh, if you get somebody's IP you can find out quite a bit of information um uh, I've done an NS lookup on a, a friend's VPS, and they had a. I found a lot of information just from that lookup, and we had. I had them uh, enable a, a private option there that would hide a lot of the uh, information from the NS lookup. So this is potentially damaging in several different areas that people would legitimately use the internet for. Basically, from what I'm gleaning from this discussion here. Well, if you look at what, you know, and again, I don't know, I haven't read the SOPA legislation, so I, this is hearsay about the proxies, but if you do read a website like Tor, you know, they, they do give you some statistics of the type of uses for proxies, and of course, um, like anything, anybody can use anything for illegal purposes, you know, certainly, but uh, most of the are legitimate purposes and if anybody's interested they can always look at a list of legitimate purposes um, and like I say if you consider the FBI to be legitimate they are the number one user of proxies in the United States interesting you can do a lot of um, well you can, as I said you can find out a lot of information on somebody um, you may may or may not I mean, if you get their IP address and your ISP, I think, can also uh, sometimes add in extra info on you with your IP, if I'm not mistaken. Kanto, you're killing me with your silence. Sorry about that. I am definitely listening now. I'll, I'll kick in here in a minute. Cool deal. You know, the, the SOPA legislation to me seems to be the, the epitome of the, the one for all mentality where, where you have corporate giants that, um, you know, a, a, after all, these are giants who are claiming that they're uh, just losing incredible sums of money due to, you know, people who are making zero money absolutely no money whatsoever 
it's a ludicrous it's a ludicrous thing to claim and somehow they are getting away with it and um you know the the fact is it doesn't really matter how much we rail against this legislation i don't believe it's a matter of 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 whether they feel like they can do it or not it is my understanding that uh, that there are going to be some people trying to push um, or, or filibuster, if if you will, to uh, to uh, alter people's decisions on this. Um, I just still can't stress enough people uh, getting in contact with their congressmen and that sort of thing to uh, really push the issue because you know we we got to stand strong as Americans because the world is going to follow suit and whatever whatever is passed here. You know, um, sure, we may be able to that they may be able to restrict the internet uh, in the United States, but you know, other countries are going to follow along with this, and it's going to really destroy the internet as we know it today. Well, you know, no, no. you made a really interesting point, um, Spatry, about the little guy and whether this is actually going to help somebody like you who may be you know legally offended by someone else who uses your material and you don't want them to be using it and I think that's a very good question to ask and I would liken this this is the sort of argument that corporations typically give that in 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 benefiting them it would also benefit you but I would have you look at recent legislation towards, it used to be called the estate tax. It's now called, and it's uh, uh, deliberately and psychologically called, uh, the death tax. And what people have, what this is, is this is tax on estates of more than a million dollars. And that's why it was originally called the estate tax. But they've renamed it the death tax because they never talk about who it actually affects. They just talk about it as a death tax in that it would affect the small guy that you would be taxed on your estate at your death. But this is just utterly irresponsible um, in its lack of information. If, if Americans don't look at the reality of the situation that this doesn't affect anyone but the upper 10 percent is what we're talking about but politicians make it seem as if it affects everyone and I think the SOPA legislation back to your point the SOPA legislation likes to act as if it would help guys like Lennox Spatry secure their secure the legality of their material when in effect what they are actually doing is helping themselves make more money. I also like to point out a lot of these uh, congressmen they don't know they they can barely type on a computer they and some of them had admit to this they uh, they don't know what they're debating about it. a few of them have even said hey let's go get help on this so that we know what we're talking about we are constantly deluded by we are constantly deluded by the one with the many argument and I, I think it's a it's an easy it's an easy thing to be deluded by by grandiose sounding speeches about death taxes when in reality what we're talking about are estate taxes Well, I was just reading many of the companies that uh, that are supporting it are pulling out. Like a, a big, um, several, uh, GoDaddy just pulled out its support, and several of the companies that have been had letters sent to Congress saying they supported it have come out saying they actually sent no letter. I just read that in the news today. So something's uh, a little fishy here. Oh, I also wanted to add. I actually had a professor who, um, a political science professor, who's just saying all SOPA was about is the government would like to tax sales on the internet that's probably what they would want to get out of it what do you guys uh, think about that statement it all boils down to money somebody's gonna profit from it and it isn't going to be the little guy now um, I I already have this in a news snippet that's coming up on one of my shows where GoDaddy indeed did pull out and I 
me and my business partner have a number of domains hosted by GoDaddy, and we were actually considering moving those domains over to someone else. And now we're rethinking that strategy because we just moved those sites to GoDaddy, and it's quite a hassle moving domain from one domain to, or one registrar to another. Excuse me. It, it's a hassle to do all of this, and we decided to. We're now rethinking that strategy of uh, switching to another registrar since they've pulled out. Oh, uh, any idea who you'd be using instead of GoDaddy? Have you made any plans uh, in regards to that? Uh, we, you know, I've been looking at some different ones, but I haven't made a final decision on it. And this is something that my business partner and and I both have to discuss. You know, I was wondering, when they, they openly said, we support SOPA, did they not think that they're going to get a lot of uh, lashback for, you know, being open about supporting this? A lot of people are up in arms. This is going to destroy free speech. This is going to destroy free speech. And they're like, oh, we're on board with that. Do they not, not think that that's bad? Especially considering their business. <laughs> Now, something I'd like to share with you guys, if you weren't aware of this, uh, Italy was going to pass a law uh, involving privacy, and I can't remember the, the, all the exact details um, of it, but what Wikipedia did was they actually blacked out pages of their site in protest of this, and I was reading on uh, on the uh, Wikipedia site that they were actually considering doing this in protest of SOPA, even in light of the fact they're in their fundraising phase right now. So let's say you were to go up... Go ahead, Kanto. I was just saying, I was not aware, of I didn't hear about that at all. I heard it was effective. Uh, I can't. Uh, I don't remember who I was talking with the other night. Said it actually was effective. Yes, the Italian government did not pass that law because of the protest. Now, picture if you will. You know, Wikipedia is everywhere. Whenever you do a Google search on a single word, uh, on a single, you know, you type in a single word like um, otter, for instance. Okay, Wikipedia will come up and it'll tell you all about the otter okay but instead this time you type in that same word otter when they black out their page they're going to say this is what's going to happen if SOPA becomes a reality you know you can't get information on this because this may contain an image that is copyrighted and the text herein is copyrighted by the author And I could be exaggerating a little bit there, but you get the idea. I mean, it's it's really going to hamper our online encyclopedia. Well, we we you know, it's hard to have a discussion of SOPA without having a discussion of the underlying copyright laws, archaicism that we have in the United States for copyright laws, and we've tried to push on the rest of the world as well. And even despite the fact that other countries don't necessarily agree with our copyright laws, we're looking for them to bend to our definition of what is copyright. Which is in favor of big business. Which is typically in favor of big business, but we... You know, the laws, the laws are written by copyright holders. It, it's kind of like um, um, how banking reg regulations are written by Goldman Sachs employees. Quite a lot of food for thought here. But the bottom line is, I believe that SOPA is going to be dangerous uh, for how we access information. Uh, on the internet these days. Uh, this has been an invigorating discussion. I want to thank all of you who have participated in our discussion and uh, for those of you who were, watch who were uh, watching this, um, if you thought this information was useful, please hit like and subscribe. Also, you can join us on TeamSpeak where, where there, we 
plenty more discussions on this and other topics, but mostly Linux related. And please be sure to contact, uh, you know, all Americans out there, you the voters, contact your lawmakers and your congressmen, and let's put a stop to this thing. Cheers for doing it, Spatry.